Francesco, you were the first that raised your hand. that Caesar and his Senate must redress. Most high, most mighty, and most puissant Caesar, Metellus Simba throws before thy seat an humble heart. I must prevent thee, Simba. These couchings and these lowly courtesies might fire the blood of ordinary men and turn preordinance and first decree into the law of children. Be not fond to think that Caesar bears such rebel blood that will be thawed from the true quality with that which melteth fools. I mean sweet words low, crooked curtsies, and base spaniel fawning. Thy brother by decree is banished. If thou dost bend and pray and fawn for him, I spurn thee like a cur out of my way. No, Caesar doth not wrong, nor without cause will he be satisfied. Is there no voice more worthy than my own to sound more sweetly in great Caesar's ear for the repealing of my banished brother? I kiss thy hand, but not in flattery, Caesar. Desiring thee that Publius Simba may have an immediate freedom of repeal. What? Brutus? Pardon, Caesar, Caesar, pardon. As low as to thy foot doth Cassius fall to beg enfranchisement for Publius Simba. I could be well moved if I were as you. If I could pray to move, prayers would move me. But I am constant as the northern star, of whose true fixed and resting quality there is no fellow in the firmament. The skies are painted with unnumbered sparks. They are all fire, and every one doth shine. But there's but one in all doth hold his place. So in the world, it is furnished well with men, and men are flesh and blood and apprehensive. Yet in the number I do know but one, that unassailable holds on his rank, unshaped of motion, and that I am he, let me a little show it, even in this, that I am constant Simba should be banished, and constant to remain to keep himself. So. Oh, Caesar! Hence, wilt thou lift up Olympus? Great Caesar! Doth not Brutus bootless kneel? Speak hands for me! Oh. and cry out, liberty, freedom, and enfranchisement. People and senators, be not affrighted. Fight out. Stand still. That mission stat is paid. Go to the fortress, Brutus, and Cassius, too. Stand fast together, lest some friend of Caesar. Lock out of standing. Publius, good cheer. 
There is no harm intended to your person, not on a Roman else. So tell them, Publius. And leave us, Publius. Listen to the people rushing on us to do your aid some harm. Do so. And let no man abide this deed, but we, the doers. Where is Antony? Fled to his house amazed. Men, wives, and children stare, cry out, and run as if it were doomsday. Stoop, Romans. Stoop. And let us bathe our hands in Caesar's blood. Then walk we forth even to the marketplace, and waving our red weapons o'er our heads, let's all cry peace, freedom, and liberty. Stoop then and wash. How many times shall Caesar bleed in sport that now on Pompey's basis lies along no worthier than the dust? So oft as that shall be, so often shall the knot of us be called the men who gave their country liberty. Well, shall we forth? Aye, every man away. Brutus shall lead, and we will grace his heels with the most boldest and best hearts of Rome. Soft, who comes here? Welcome, Mark Antony. Almighty Caesar, dost thou lie so low? Are all thy conquests, glories, triumphs, spoils, shrunk to this little measure? 